We are underway. Southpaw Machida in the dark trunks. Blue and white trunks for the champion, Chris Weidman. Right away, Weidman opens up with kicks, three in a row. Very interesting. Weidman very confident in his skills everywhere in a fight. He's worked diligently to be a better striker, to be he's, better at submissions. He was already an ex excellent wrestler. Yeah, he's deceptively good at distance, Mike. That's one of the things about him, the way he moves in and out before he commits to striking. Very good at distance. We once said before, though, charging in on Lyoto Machida is like running into a wood chipper. You gotta be careful how you approach Lyoto Machida, a man you cannot emulate in camp. Well, that's why I was shocked that right away he was attacking with kicks. Lioto yet to open up. It's kind of Lioto's game plan most times, Joey. He feels it out, tries to see the openings, and then attacks. Well, it could be that with opening up the strategy could be with these kicks that he wants Lioto to attempt to counter, and then that is where he's going to initiate the takedown from. Got it. And there's the Caught kick. It. Yep, exactly what we thought. Right away, he's deep in on a single, but Lioto fights it off very nicely. But as we suspected, that was probably yes. the strategy. Caught the leg. Took him down for just a split second, though. So look for Lyoto be far more judicious with his kicks now. Nice inside kick by the champion. Weidman again. Ooh. That time Machida walked into him, cut it off. Lyoto just missed with that straight left. Long left of Weidman. Clips the chin of Lyoto Machida. This is what Chris wants to do, cut off the octagon, Joe. Another good kick. And Lyoto is trying to catch him as he throws that kick, time him with that left hand. But he's been unable to time it correctly so far. But tremendous pressure by Weidman. Weidman switched his stance for a moment. Lyoto was circling away from the left leg. And this is Weidman's style, constant pressure. Staying on top of you. And it makes it very difficult for a guy like Leota to set up the counter. Again with a kick. And two in a row. Weidman's never been outstruck in his professional career. He's off to a good start here against Machida. The two fights against Anderson Silva. Very counted with that left. Landed clean. Ate a kick first, though. Both ended early. Weidman's been scheduled many times for five. He's never gone the five-round distance. In fact, he hasn't gone past his second round, Joe. Leota looked for that high kick, though, but he was a bit out of balance. Leota circles that. away again, yep. He timed that kick. Snuck in on it, but missed with the counter. Not there. Just over a minute on the clock in round one. Machida, lead uppercut, nothing there either. Lyoto is having a bit of a problem with the pressure, Mike. That's Looking what Chris for his yep. timing. That's what Chris said. Threw Anderson Silva off as well. Mm -hmm. Threw a kick to the body. Chris caught it, but Lyoto got his leg back. 30. And Chris is an undefeated fighter. Carries the confidence and bravado of one. Not arrogant, but confident. Final seconds. Just getting out of harm's way was Machida of that right hand.
punch. And there's a nice leg kick by Weidman. And there's a counter that caught Weidman clean. Around the block. Back, back. And there's another one. Tried to tag him with the right, but fell a bit short. Right. Round two. Nice inside leg kick by Machida. Yeah. Ray Longo very pleased with Weidman's performance thus far. The elusiveness, the unorthodox attack. Longtime teammates Anderson Silva and Leoto Machida can be similar at times. That kick blocked by Chris Weidman. And again, as Weidman's corner was saying, the way he's backing up and moving, he can't win a fight like that. Keep yes. the pressure on him. We'll get him, he said. We'll get him. Very confident corner of Chris Weidman's. As you and I talked about, they had high praise many, many years ago. Good short left landed there by Weidman. Again, Weidman trying to be the aggressor. Leoto backpedals. But again, Weidman claims the center of the octagon after every one of these exchanges. Leoto can't get his back away from the cage. If you notice, this has been the trend in the first and the second round. Weidman controlling the center, giving Leoto very little room to move backwards, forcing him to sort of run to get to the sides. Good counter right over the top by Weidman. Not that good kick to the body by Leoto. Different than what he did with Anderson, too, to take him out of his game. But his pressure is most certainly relentless. No question. But Leoto's got to do something to try to claim the center. Give himself some more space. The one thing Leoto does very well is he covers ground. He's in and out as good as anybody, but we haven't seen it yet. Well, Weidman limits your movement so severely. When a, when a fighter realizes, here's good for Leoto. How long can he hold it? Right. Chris goes that has a kick. nice inside leg kick. But slowly but surely, Chris starts to pressure him and get him back to that cage again. Machida trying to get in a little bit. The more they can stand like this, the more Machida can get comfortable. Chris keeping a hand in his face at all times. Be it the lead right, from the southpaw or the left from the orthodox. There it is. There Leoto, it is again. Yeah, Leoto tried to leap in with that right hand, but it did not land clean. Jumping front kick by Weidman. And again, claims the center of the cage. 21 career wins for the former light heavyweight champion, Leoto Machida. Weidman, a perfect 11 0. 7 0 in the UFC. And Joe, that's worthy of mention. Four fights into your pro career, and you're fighting in the UFC. Yeah, I mean, he's been pretty exceptional right off the bat. And one of those pro victories before the UFC was a knockout victory over Uriah Hall. Yep. I mean, he's been pretty awesome pretty quick. See who's landing at a better percentage thus far. It is Lyoto Machida. Good left over the top by Lyoto. But more. Punches have landed from Chris Weidman. Accuracy is good. Now Leoto's got to up. And there's a shot again. This time he's got him down. Up the frequency of his strikes and defend Weidman on top here. Final minute of round two. The right in front of Chris Weidman's corner. An excellent place for Weidman to be on top. And again, you can hear Matt Sarah pretty much anywhere in the octagon. <laughs> Final 30 of uh, round number two here. And here comes the ground and pound by Chris Weidman. Leota's in trouble. 
This is where Chris is bigger and stronger. Not a lot of time left. I mean, even when Leota was at 205, Weidman might still be physically bigger. Nice knees bigger. by Weidman. He's got the head trap, not anymore. Leoto takes some punishment here at the end of the second. Again, a very confident corner of Chris Weidman. His father Charlie in the corner. Jean Volante, his teammate, coming off a fight of the night victory last week in New Zealand. Sticks the jab in the face of the dragon. Leoto tries to go up high, but blocked by Weidman. Faked the middle, Joe, and then he went on the outside. And there's a shot again. Got out. Chris Weidman did exactly what he wanted to do. He defeated Anderson Silva twice. But still, even he knows there's some validation that comes with tonight's potential win over the former champion, Machida. Just because of the way those fights ended. Chris hasn't let anything bother him. Joey just forges ahead, and he says, I'll knock down whoever they put in front of me. Leoto is opening up with some kicks in this round. That left kick to the body, particularly effective because of the differences in their stances. Chris being orthodox in his approach, and Leoto fighting for the southpaw position. It opens up that back power kick to the body. Stuffed again. Kenny, nope, not that time. Big takedown for the champion. Second of the fight for Chris Weidman. Right into the guard of Machida. Machida with his feet on the hips. See if he can push off. As he pushes off, he's got to be careful about Weidman's leg attacks. A long time Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, Leoto Machida. 2-0 at 185. Seventh time Machida has been scheduled for five rounds. He's gone the distance twice. Weidman, if he gets his left leg free, is going to try to take the back of Machida. He's holding on with the over-under. Now he's got the back. Machida's going to try to pop that right shoulder out and slip out. Big knee by Weidman. Yep. And Leoto's free. Leoto, Machida, Chris Weidman. Just past the midway point of this title fight. Excellent combination by the champion. A lot of pressure now coming from Weidman. That is one of his MOs, is that relentless pressure. He got Big clipped. right hand. And Leoto's free again. There's a cut. That was the punch that Weidman landed in that exchange. He landed another big right hand and a left behind it. A lot of time to work. Leoto with a nice knee to the body. And Weidman takes him down again. He is the bigger middleweight. And as we said before, Joe, even if they were meeting at 205, I think still Weidman would be the bigger of the two men. Yeah, absolutely. He's enormous for a middleweight. Yeah. It's not an easy cut for him at all. When he was being interviewed yesterday. You could see the strain on his face. It's a hard weight cut for sure. For sure. And he's got Leoto's back once more. And he's opened up the cut with that right hand that you talked about. A minute on the clock here in round three. And they're up again and, and down. down again. Leoto is trying to look up to check the clock as well as protect himself. 45 seconds. 
He's in front of his corner, and he takes a look at Javier Cordero. Lyoto's saying that he's got his, or excuse me, Weidman's saying that Lyoto has his fingers in Weidman's gloves, and now Weidman is covering up the nose of Lyoto Machida. Under 30. Lyoto trying to get up again. He's out. Lyoto is a bloody mess. Yep. And he's getting battered. Ten seconds. Watch for a potential head kick. Yeah, you can see him trying to set something up from yeah. the left side. It's Either been, a kick or a knee. There's there the kick. Especially end of the round, he didn't have to worry about being taken down as much. He's worried about the takedown. Keep the fakes going. There's the right hand. Elbow by Machida, but a hard right hand by the champion. And here's a huge takedown by Weidman. Grab that water. Lyoto so far with no answer to the attack of Chris Weidman. And this by far is deep as Weidman has gone in his professional career. Previously hadn't gone past the second round. Fourth time scheduled for five rounds. Championship rounds. Machida and Weidman for the belt at 185. Tape hanging out of the right glove of Chris Weidman. He doesn't want to give Lyoto any time to get things started, Joe. But Machida has to know that the judges have favored Weidman thus far, and there's only two rounds left. Yeah, he's got to win by stoppage, one way or another. A kick, a submission, a punch. Nice one to the body. Those do damage. Generally, Machida absorbs fewer strikes than pretty much anybody in UFC history. Weidman's tagged him a lot tonight. Good knee to the body by Weidman in that exchange. And there you see the numbers to validate what we were just talking about. There you go. Machida caught him on the left. Turned up the intensity on that last combination. He attempted that knee, but Weidman caught him. And, got and he got him. him down again. For now. Wide base by Machida. Trying to work his way back up. Beautiful job by Machida springing out of there. Lyoto's done some things very good, Joe, but he's not been able to gain the momentum from Chris White. Good left hook by Lyoto. Maybe that's the start. Because we know one thing, he's never out of a fight. Well, he's definitely not out if he can do that. Absolutely. And remember, Weidman, although he, he caught him again. diligently, he caught him he's again never with a left hand in that exchange, Mike. Weidman Just is backing there. up for the first time. Big deep breaths being taken by Chris Weidman. Machida again. Machida tagged him again. Weidman's hurt. Caught him. Weidman brings him in, which means he wants him out. Leoto's got a lot of time to work here. There goes that momentum we were talking about. Looking for the high kick. Good one to the body. The Roddy Kid starting to light up. And Another again, one to the body. That's been his best strike. That kick to the body. Tagged him again with the left hand. A lot of confidence from the former light heavyweight champion. He's doing a great job of keeping Weidman guessing as to whether or not it's gonna be that kick or that left hand. There's the left hand again. Look at the mouth of Chris Weidman, open a little bit now. Breathing, much heavier than earlier in this fight. Uncharted waters for the All-American. 
over the top. Good oh, takedown defense done by Lyoto. By Machida, came out and he fired. Just over a minute now in round four. Now the Brazilians become vocal. We've seen that before and it worked pretty well, didn't it? Lyoto knocking out Randy Couture in Toronto with that front kick. Trying to join Couture and BJ Penn as the only men to ever win a UFC belt in two weight classes. Stuffed. Big deep shot by Weidman. Stuffed so far by Machida. Very nice by Machida. Lyoto has stuffed eight of 12 takedown attempts. A lot of pressure from the Dragon. Yoda Machida attacking Chris Weidman. The knee. Look at Lyoto. We got ourselves Big left a fight. Hand. Big left hand on the buzzer that stunned Weidman. They are on their feet here inside the Mandalay Bay Event Center. Let's take a look at some of this action. Boom! There's a left hook that clipped Weidman. There's a right hand that glanced off the shoulder. And there's a clean right hand. And that's the end of the round. A left hand on the jaw. Fifth and final round! Beautiful inside leg kick by Machida. Again with the Kick body. To the body. Weidman switches his stance and back Weidman and is forth. Badly bruised on that under that right arm. Right on the rib cage. Right where those kicks keep landing. Wow. A lot of support for the Brazilian. Machida now controlling the center of the octagon, Mike. Is that one punch last round, Joe, that we talked about? Now the momentum is with Machida, but. Might need to stop this fight to win. Well, I think he does. He either needs that or he needs a huge round yeah. that would be scored a 10 8 round. And that would just give him a draw. Four minutes remain. Leota right there in his face. Good left hand over the top by Machida. Watch for that left knee of Machida. Is he going to stuff another one? Excellent takedown defense so far. Yeah. Beautiful job by Machida. He's spinning out. out. And Lyoto all Weidman. over him. Lyoto is the fresher of the two fighters. Well, I think he did some real damage in that fourth round, Mike. How big of a round was that? And this is also where the weight cutting factor comes in with Weidman. Big right hand by Weidman. Leoto shakes it off. Machida. Over the top. Weidman pressuring, which is what Ray Longo said you have to continue to do. Under three. What a great title fight. Him. Him. Machida coming forward though. Watch out for the knee. Midway point of the fifth and final round. Nice leg kick by Weidman. Wow. Chris's hands were low though, Joe. Leoto just missed there. Nice knee by Weidman. Oh, Good elbow. Beautiful elbow. That and a left hook and a right hand. Nicely done, Chris Weidman. Now Lyoto's really busted up yeah. under the left eye, too. That was a really good elbow. Stepped into that elbow. Nice left. Lyoto still game. Under two.
But Cheetah at 36 Big years kickdown. old, taken down. Fifth of the fight for the champion. Many have been stopped. But this one might be the biggest of the fight. Unless Leota were to pull an Anderson Silva, you know he'd rather be on the feet still. Weidman looking to pressure and get that right leg out of the guard. He's sliding over, he's gonna mount. He's gonna take the back of Machida. Beautiful job at securing both hooks. But she is scrambling to try to get out of that position. But Weidman holding him in place. Now he's going to flatten him out. 50 seconds. Leoto trying to get free, trying he to get back to his hooks. feet. He can't stay in this spot, though. Leoto up. Can he get out? Not much time left for Machida. Nope. That was a huge minute in which Weidman had top position, Joe. A huge minute and a lot of domination by Weidman there. Yep. Excellent punches, the takedown. This is the round he needed, and he's been getting it. Oh, 15 right seconds. Hand by Leoto. Machida trying to pull off a miracle. by Retina. Eight seconds. Machida firing away. They go the distance! Wow! What a fight! What a fight! What a fight! Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest, 49-45. 48, 47, and 49, 46 for the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Chris Weidman. Great fight. For the title, Weidman defends against Machida.